All right, guys, I'm going to introduce you to a really cool uh, a 3D creation tool called Asset Forge. So this tool will allow you to create uh, 3D models at a much quicker pace. And uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, the functionality is very similar to any 3D engine. So the moving and the uh, scrolling and the uh, uh, move is pretty much the same. So we'll, we'll just start with a little bit of that. So if you press your Alt key and uh, you press the... Uh, I'm going to just open this program here. And is this actually recording? Yes, okay, good. Let me double check that. So I want to, so I have my, I'm pressing the right mouse button and this allows me to move along this axis. So if I want to see my model, which is in the middle here, well, there you go. If I want to press the Alt key, it actually does the exact same thing. If you press the middle mouse key, it'll allow you to move like this and if you press the W and the right mouse key, it'll fly in the direction that you want to go. If you press the S, so this is forward, and you press S, it moves back. Okay? And so the D key moves this way, and the A key moves this way. So I'm pressing the A key right now, pressing the D key right now, and I'm going to press the W key. And you know what? In fact, in, in Unreal Engine, which is software we're going to learn, you have to actually press the mouse button to do it. In this one, you just press the key, so it's even easier to use. So here's the S key, W key. So I'm ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a castle. Okay. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole castle. I'm going to uh, start the process, show you how it works. So if you want to change pens, you know, uh, here's aircraft, which I will make you design a vehicle. So you'll see there's a vehicle here, and there's some primitives to build a basic level. Uh, which you could use and uh, I'm gonna start with the primitives and let's just go to the primitives so I'm gonna drop a rock, uh, one of these blocks here and I'm gonna click on it and as I drop it keep your finger on the uh, shift key and I'm gonna scroll out a little bit with my mouse before I let go and uh, I wanted to make multiple there so uh, just re-click add and so so this is with the alt key and the right mouse button allows me to move up like this you need to see that it's put in the right spot okay so you always have to kind of check that um, so I'm gonna just quickly add a bunch here I'm gonna here it says look at the bottom there's a place button snap copy rotate so those are uh, very handy. I'm going to click shift and see if I can see create without going back. So it's a lot quicker this way. So I'm going to create the floor of my castle. Oops. Uh, can I do command Z? I think so. Uh, if not, oh, I don't need to. It's actually, and I forgot to click the uh, shift key that time. So I'll have to start over with that one. Mm, okay. I'm going to add another one here. I'll show you a, l a little trick that's even cooler I'm gonna add one block in the middle here and you're gonna see that there there's these panels here so this is to move the arrows to move this is to expand so what I'm gonna do is click on this little square and expand it all the way out and using the grid as my guide and then I'm gonna use the alt rotate to go to the other side and again just click this so this will allow you to quickly design uh, your level alt again and I'm going to go over here click and I'm going to drop this here oops let's do that again grab another one and I could just expand it or just click and drag another one in so there's the base of my castle all right so now I want to go to castle so you're going to see there's a lot of thin walls because these thick blocks are maybe good for foundation or you know quickly building a level or a look so uh, what I'm going to do is start adding uh, a door. So find the door. I'm going to go with, with this door. And as I'm placing it, I can click the space bar to rotate it. Now, it's kind of still a, in development. This offers, you see it kind of is a little bit rough. So place it to, near to where you want to go. Press the, uh, I'm going to press the A key and then the W key to move to where I want to go. And I'm going to move it with the arrows. All right. So I'm going to place it as close to the edge as I think is the right spot. And then what I want to do is, if I'm not sure, press the Alt key and look around. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. 
look at it from a few angles to make sure it's in the right spot. Then I'm going to go get my wall, same thing. I'm going to place this um, over here and I will move it with the arrow and I will grab this arrow, move it back. Sometimes it will let me if it's behind, it might not. I have to actually alt look around and I'm going to press W, A, go right to where I want to go. Um, so here I am. Guys, I am recording, if you don't mind. I've already said it a few times, thank you. Okay, now currently you can't copy and paste. It's a feature that's been requested and is coming. So basically I want you to create a castle. Uh, you know, in, in mine I added some, I would add another layer of blocks here, but just for the sake, I'll show you the finished copy in a second. Now it's really important, like, where do you want to save this? You click save, I don't want to save this one because it's just a prototype. And well, I'll show you just for the sake of, and, and then select where you're sending it to. I'm putting mine at the end. So I'm going to call this one Castle uh, 2, okay, and click OK. So now it's saved. So if I reopen Asset Forge tomorrow, the project is there. And there's a difference. The ones I want are model. The model is the one that are my working file. The one that are either FBX or objects, those are ready to be imported into a game engine of some type. Photoshop or Unreal Engine, Maya, etc. Okay, so uh, here you go. This is the beginning of the castle. And, uh, you know, here's all your pieces. I would like you to try to build something similar. I'm going to open the castle that I would like you to build. So this is what I would like you to do. You're going to see these are right over here. Uh, the textures. I'm going to go back to my other model to show you how I added them in. Uh, and you can see them right here. This is the paint tool. So let's go open the other uh, castle 2 model just so you can see. So how does this tool work? So basically there's two things. There's colors. You can go, I want red. Uh, and you know it'll go by what you have selected by the way so I'm gonna click over here under texture so here's where you get your looks like I want this to be rock I want this to be rock uh, if I want to create a new texture because if I click on on this uh, oh, see it changed it so that is not how you do it if you want to change it's good plus and then make this your next texture and then we'll make this one grass and you see it if you have like a large block like I have over here, it'll paint that whole block in one color. So that's something to keep a, be aware of when you're designing. You may want to just use small blocks because you want to have some kind of a pattern look. So maybe you want to go like this, like this, like this, like this, and, and then go back and let's create another one and add this wooden pattern and then select the wood and boom, 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 boom. So you're creating sort of a textured look there for your level. And over here, I'm going to put on my wall, uh, let's go with rock, which is over here. looks pretty good. And I would just keep going like that. So uh, your goal is, I'm going to open my previous castle, to create a castle somewhat like this. And I want to show you what I've done, is I've added these, uh, these towers, which were used uh, using these cylinder tools that were in the primitives. So you just click over here. Um, this is for your city. You could create another, you could customize your castle. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but what's really important, I would like there to be two levels and a door. All right. So once you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, export this as a 3D model. So I'm just going to quickly go inside here so you can see. See, I added a, some wooden uh, fences that are available under castles here. Uh, and I added these and I stretched them uh, uh, with the, the tool here. I stretched them over here. I added some uh, planks, which I found down here and placed them and then colored. So it made a nice look. So it makes like a finished castle in very, very little time. So to ex export this, and this is really important. You want to export as an OBJ with a merge. Okay. Otherwise it'll uh, be into a hundred pieces and you'll have to rebuild it wherever you go. So uh, I'm going to click save. And now uh, the castle will be ready to be brought into my game. So I will show you how to do this. See, I've already brought a few in. But uh, what I'm going to do is go, you're going to go to your content folder. And uh, I might make a second video here on how to show you how to do this just because I have a different window size. If you have any questions, please let me know.